special way invites the entire world to praise and worship the king of kings and the lord of lords why do we want to become active participants to the initiatives of the church for unity first of all it is our spiritual heritage that to live in unity and work for unity it has its origin in our founder who concludes his farewell discourse with a prayer that explicitly expresses his desire in these words as you father are in me and i am in you may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me it is the earnest desire of our mother church too because her credibility depends on the fulfillment of this desire of her spouse jesus christ we daughters of the church share this anxiety of hers with a filial concern thirdly according to our mother founders the first aim of the daughters of the church is to glorify god our father that can be realized only through unity let us bring into our mind a few of her expressions that are in tune with this aim i need not repeat to you how much prayer and true prayer for union are necessary it is a matter of grace and there is no other way to obtain it Jesus thus makes us understand that our part is above all prayer and that our apostolate must be above all our union. Father, I pray that they are one for the world to believe and to know that you sent me because the union can only come from grace and grace can only be obtained with prayer. Cor unum Corey Mono Here are the words that stirred the heart of the brave daughter of the church Magdalene and offered her life for the unity The conversion of the world to faith depend on union The urgency of prayer and penance for union is terrible Little children we were born for this to be one so that the world may believe and to be one first those united and then those separated for this we must pray for this we must suffer bearing above all the burden of each other which is suffering less illusory and more unity our mother founders maria oliva During the last week of the prayer for Christian unity celebrated by her on this earth in 1976 said The glory of Jesus lies in the fulfillment of the will of the Father which is the unity of all in his paternal heart And this is the purpose of Jesus life Reread the wonderful priestly prayer you will feel that he sighs only this and it is the sigh of our little work precisely because we want to glorify the father for this we want union
the theme of today gathered in worship around the one lord demands from our part certain kind of initiatives that begin with the interior conversion as we see in unitatis redento gratio there is no true ecumenism without interior conversion in fact the desire for unity is born and matures from the renewal of the soul from self denial and from the full exercise of charity hence like imagine we need to rise up from our life of slumber and walk towards the light with the humble but committed hearts ready to take a risk and inevitable sufferings relying on his grace such a journey will lead us to jesus and mary and we will be able to pay homage to him When the Magi from their faraway countries arrived at Bethlehem and saw the child with his mother, they worshipped him. In the presence of this revelation of God among us, eyes are cast down and knees are bent. Similarly, at the sight of the burning bush, Moses hid his face, afraid to look at God. When the disciples saw the risen Christ, on the mountain in Galilee they were amazed and troubled yet they worshiped him in the heavenly liturgy the 24 elders fall before him who sits on the throne encountering god's presence we respond thus gazing followed by amazement leading to worship do we see are we amazed are we truly worshiping how many times do we see without perceiving our eyes remaining blind to god's presence how can we worship in truth if we do not see first in our narrow vision too often we see only our tiny disagreements forgetting that the one lord has given his saving grace to us all and that we share in the one spirit who draws us in in the unity often in our pride we follow our own laws and human traditions while often disregarding the law we are called to share as one people justified by Christ's blood with a common faith in Jesus as our savior as communities enlivened by the holy spirit Our churches call us to walk together towards Christ's child to offer him homage as one people. 
the spirit of compassion guides us each other and together guides us all to our one now only by following this guide will we be able to worship in spirit and truth our future in god is a future of unity and love our way to this destination must reflect that same truth of oneness in christ this transformation is not taking place in the life of many human beings especially in the atheist because they are not willing to encounter god they refuse whatever is beyond their human reason there are people because of their bitter experiences reject the existence of god our mother found us after her encounter with the lord in the georgian square confessed that the existence of god the essence of god and the unhappiness of the world has stained her life's genuine concerns last of this namely the unhappiness of the world has oppressed her like the death as her daughters we also should have similar concerns and initiatives to bring these people back to god today in a special way let us pray for them one god one lord jesus the savior one hope for all humanity one grace for all sins we are forgiven new life for all eternity one body the church of christ one purpose unites our lives to glorify the one and only god yeah united we stand many hearts as one united we sing let your kingdom come unite us to see will on earth be done unify our hearts and make us one one god one love Jesus the savior one hope for all humanity one grace for all sins we are forgiven new life for all eternity one body the church of christ one purpose unites our lives to glorify the one and only god yeah united we stand many hearts as one united we sing let your kingdom come Unite us to see will all not be done Unify our hearts and make us one For our holy father Pope Francis cardinals and bishops Lord as you have chosen them as the shepherds of the church stir up the gifts of the spirit within them make them bold in their faith and dynamic witnesses to your love so that may they help all the faithful to reach the eternity which is promised by Christ let us pray to the lord sun mere prarthana uttar de For the unity of all 
Christians. Lord, heal our wounds, barriers and divisions, so that together we may find more effective ways to bring healing to our broken world. Let us pray to the Lord. Sun Mary. so that they may see each other as one family and the whole earth as one home. May we all live together in perfect harmony. Let's pray to the Lord. Sun Mary Let us pray. Compassionate God, you gave the blind the insight to recognize you as their Savior. Enable us to repent. In your mercy, remove the scales from our eyes and lead us to worship you as our God and Redeemer. In the midst of our sorrow and despite the depth of our sins, give us the capacity to love you with all our hearts. May we journey together guided by your light with one heart and one mind, as were the very first disciples. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be upon us, so that together we glorify you in the Spirit's fellowship and witness to all those around us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> 